what is work-life balance and why is it mostly women talking about it? That's what we're gonna cover in the video today. What's happening, boss lady? My name is Tara Wagner, your breakthrough coach, helping you to get it done, but feel great doing it. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about this little thing called work-life balance what it is, what it isn't, and if you stick around to the very end, I will show you what you should be shooting for instead with a few little mindset shifts. If you're new to my YouTube channel, hey, so am I. Let's get to know each other. Be sure to subscribe for weekly videos on boss lady habits, mindset, productivity, and emotional wellness to help you crush your goals not your soul. So what is work-life balance? Well, it seems to be this false idea that we all have that all the things in our life or our business need equal time, energy, and attention. And it's your job, ladies, I'm speaking specifically to you, to ensure that it all gets handled. It also seems to be a narrative spoken primarily by women. I mean, literally, when was the last time you heard a man talking about trying to juggle it all. There are so many falsehoods wrapped up in this idea that are burying some very real and useful and helpful topics that we should be focusing on instead. And I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but first I wanna say work-life balance is not about the time in your week being equally distributed. It's definitely not about one week looking like the next. And it's certainly not about you being all things to all people all the time and managing it all yourself. So here's my theory on where this narrative comes from. During the women's rights movement, as we're trying to attain the right to be educated or to have careers, we were still living in an environment dominated by the needs and the demands put on us by our culture. And as we tried to have careers and goals of our own, we forgot to examine our people-pleasing tendencies. So when the backlash came that told us that our homes are gonna fall apart if we weren't there, we scrambled to say, no, no, I can juggle it all. I am woman, hear me take care of everything. Basically, we failed to realize that in order for things to change, things had to change and we couldn't or shouldn't keep doing the same things, at least not in the same ways. In order to make room for something new, we get to let go of something old. Now, obviously no one wants to neglect the important things in their life, their health and their family. But in order to do that, we get to take a very realistic view on where we're spending our time and our energy. Most of the time when I'm working with clients who are struggling with this, it's because they're taking on things that don't matter. They're focused on having an Instagram worthy home or they're taking on opportunities that aren't the right fit we really get to look at and examine and understand what's gonna serve us and what's not. I would love to hear from you on this. Why do you feel like this is primarily a female-centric conversation? Leave me a comment below letting me know your theories. Now let's get into two mindset shifts that are gonna allow you to change your perspective. Mindset shift number one is to focus on needs. You see, the word balance gives the impression of evenly weighed out scales, and this makes us think of things in terms of time or energy or money that we're spending versus the actual needs of that person or that thing in our lives. Everything or every person in our lives has needs. Some of them are our responsibility and some of them are not. And many of them are much more flexible than we give them credit for. Our job is to identify the actual needs, then identify whose responsibility they actually are, and then identify strategies to meet those needs as or before they arise. As you're focusing on needs, you also get to remember how to prioritize them. Not all needs are created equal. A lot of times we feel spread thin because we feel like everything needs to be taken care of. But the truth of the matter is only some things are important. Other things can honestly wait or completely be ignored. That's okay too sometimes. I talked more about how to find and prioritize the right things in your life in a recent video that I did on time blocking. So be sure to check that out. I'll link it above as well as in the description below. But for now, remember that as your needs get met, a sense of balance is experienced except it's not really balance. Mindset shift number two is to focus on harmony instead of balance. I learned this from one of my favorite people, Lisa Nichols. 
When our needs are being met, what we really experience is a sense of harmony, of things flowing and all of the moving parts and pieces just moving together. I also wanna remind you that sometimes in order to see this harmony, we need to zoom out a little bit. And what I mean by this is there will be times in your life or in your business when you're spending more time in one area. For instance, if you are in a growth stage of your business, it's probably gonna take some more time and some more energy from you than you would otherwise prefer that it did. Again, if you're focusing on making sure everybody's needs are being met, then those things are okay. Your family, your loved ones, yourself, you're gonna understand that there's a season and a time for everything and that going through a short period of unbalance is actually gonna be okay because of the balance it's gonna be able to create in later weeks, months, or years. But again, the key here is that everyone's needs are being met, even in those moments. So tune into those needs, tune into strategies to meet those needs, and everybody is still going to feel good, even if things are a little bit crazy right now. So focusing on a work-life harmony allows for a natural ebb and flow in your life and in your business. However, if you're zooming out and you're still not feeling or seeing that sense of harmony, that means that needs are not being met. So go back to needs. What are you needing? What are some ways that you can meet those needs, maybe in less time or more creative ways to allow everybody to feel harmonious once again? Okay, so we've talked about the theory of work-life balance and we've talked about what it is, what it looks like and what you should be shooting for instead. But all of this is just theory. Mindset and concept, those things are really important, but I also wanna to talk to you about strategies. So look for a video from me next week where I'm gonna be introducing you to some work-life balance strategies to help you to really rock this out, find some more time for the things that are important for you, make sure that you're meeting everybody's needs and not trying to do it all yourself. Capiche? But to hold you over, I actually have a free training called Self-Care in Seconds because I know you and I know the first thing to be put on the back burner when you feel like you don't have time is your own needs. This training is not only gonna walk you through some mindset shifts like we did today, but I'll also show you three specific strategies that I've taught to hundreds of women who struggle to create self-care habits and these work like a freaking charm. It also includes a guide that literally covers dozens of self-care ideas, many of which you can do in 30 seconds to just help you to reset or refresh yourself when you're feeling stressed AF. You can download the self-care in seconds training with the link below this video. So now I wanna hear from you, boss lady. Leave your comments below and let me know where you struggle with this work-life balance topic. Also, why do you think men aren't talking about this? What's your theory? If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with other like-minded boss ladies or in your masterminds and groups. And be sure to subscribe for next week's video on work-life balance strategies, as well as other weekly videos that I put out on boss lady mindsets, habits, productivity, and emotional wellness. And then don't forget to download the free self-care in seconds training because I know you think you don't have time, but I will show you that you do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.